It's a little show with a big personality. I am talking about Little Shop of Horrors. It is one of the best times you can have off Broadway. And today we are catching up with the new leads. Um, Rob, what is that saying? When one door closes, oh. <laughs> another one opens two blocks away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Last time we chatted, was I was doing for Doubtfire. This is Doubtfire down the block, and they, this show called. Skylar Aston was leaving, and they asked if I wanted to come down the block and play Seymour. And duh. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't? Yeah. yeah. So on paper, the plot of Little Shop of Horrors, it shouldn't work. But it does. Mm -hmm. For anybody who hasn't seen the movie, for anybody who hasn't seen the musical, how would you explain it? It's about a plant that... <laughs> this is gonna be good. ...that sings and eats, is, yeah, is a human-eating plant that wants things. And that's, and then there's a love story in there that's adorable. Other than that, it's for kids. <laughs> it's definitely for kids. Which is actually... They might, have, they might be a little spooked and have questions on the way home, but sure, bring yeah. the whole family. Okay, yeah. what was your first experience with this work of art? The movie, for the movie. sure. The Same. movie. As I was growing up, I started to piece together like, oh, the guys who wrote Little Mermaid and Beauty and the Beast, <laughs> before they did that, wrote a sci-fi rock do-up musical about a man-eating plant. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> There's also a really unique story. So we are here off Broadway. Mm -hmm. here this show Broadway. has no intentions of going to Broadway. No. Wants to stay here in this theater. Why is that? It needs to stay intimate. The audience needs to feel like they're almost a part of Skid Row, right? And this is the perfect venue for it. And the show was born that way. Yeah. When the yeah. show opened at the Orpheum Theater off Broadway 40 years ago, that's what it was. It was supposed to be this little, crazy, campy, um, you know, cult musical. And Lena, t like, tell me about getting the call. How did this come to be? Michael Mayer was, we were randomly walking down the street having coffee, like really? catching up. Yeah. And, uh, and he was like, would you ever consider playing Audrey in Little Shop? And I was like, oh my God, yes. And also was inspired for me by Cindy Lauper. Yes, <laughs> that is incredible. <laughs> what do you want everybody to know who isn't familiar with the work about this show? First of all, it's one of the best scores in musical theater. Truth. Like the music oh, in this gosh. show is out of control. I good. will not go to my dentist yeah. without <laughs> playing this song while I'm there in the chair. I would just say, uh, yeah. If yeah. you have a dentist phobia, yes. like, no. yeah, exactly. not, for not for you, not for you. Okay, what would Seymour? and Audrey say to audiences who are watching right now about this show? Don't feed the plants. Don't feed the plants. <laughs>